What is crack a and everybody? It is JT, the OCG, coming to you from the Citadel. I think I bought some stuff. I don't remember. Uh, but yeah, I've been under the weather. I'm probably going to talk a little softer and lighter than usual. I have an ear infection and I cannot hear out of my right ear. And this has been going on about a week, which is odd. So I have a doctor's appointment, but, uh, all right, two apartments, one bank. Oh, we were supposed to. We're supposed to go. We were supposed to talk to that person. That's what we were supposed to do, but I couldn't last time. It bugged out. So let's see if I could do it this time. Hello. I wish to talk. There we I've go. connected with Jonas Sedaris and her cell, Commander. You can speak with her via that console. Thanks. We'll need some privacy. Of course. When you're done, you can also contact Commander Bailey from that terminal. Oh, thank God. I don't want to go through that little rigmarole. Anyway, so yeah, that is that is what is going on. Who's so. that spying on me now? Ah, oh, I see. Good. Arya's indentured servant has finally come to deliver me to freedom. I want to talk with you before I secure your release. Bullshit. You have no choice. And when I get out, heads will roll. <laughs> oh, yes. You've killed a lot of my people. Don't think I've forgotten that. It'd be smart to bury the threat, Sedaris. I'll toss them into the caskets with my victims. I love holding all the cards. Even in here, you must deal with me. I have all the power. Yeah, she's a... Is that right? Make one maniac? <laughs> yes. Sane, my second in command, is a weak-willed toady. If he had balls, he'd leave me to rot and take control himself. But he won't defy me. He knows better. Now get me out of here, Shepard. Tell Bailey to release me. Bailey, I've seen Sedaris. So she's crazy, right? It would be ridiculous to let her out. Yeah. She's a menace. Let me try to make this problem go away. Sounds good. I'll hold the line until I hear from you. All right. So, um, let's see. Dark Coast Lounge. All right, uh, Okay, um... So I can't talk to... I can't talk to anybody else? Alright, so the Arcos Lounge. Alright, where's the elevator again? For crying out loud. Um, all right, wait. Oh, Paolo's Cafe. So, all oh, these are the Arcos Lounge. All right, the Arcos, all oh, right, the Arcos Lounge is here. That's what that is called. I'm hoping. Uh, new article. Citadel, where's the quarrying fleet? Reapers are taking system. Members all reasons this uh, exodus, Turian, they can have concerns. What other quarrians are up to? They want to keep a secret. Uh, they refuel that ilium. Um, 
Okay, just not interfere with them. Yeah, I wonder what the Corians are doing. And I wonder where the hell the elevator is. Do I, wait, do I have any Welcome more money? Casa Fabrication Weaponry. I got 500. Thank yeah, you for I, shopping at Casa Fabrication Weaponry. I have nothing. Uh, that's CSEC. So, okay. Thanks for joining me on this journey where I just go and... Walk around and can't find an elevator. Okay, here we go. There's the elevator. I like her outfit. The necklace is a little much, but hey, it's different. But I like that outfit. That's like a nice, comfortable outfit. All right, so uh, embassy. Uh, oh. Um. No, it's the purgatory. Um. That's okay. So now I'm absolutely lost. And I, they did a great job with that Project Variety mod. Yeah, they have everybody in this certain area. Like with their, you know, their going out outfits. Alright, so if I could talk to her. Look who's here. Okay. So what's on your mind, Shepard? Why come here of all places? I guess I have a secret weakness for repression. Truth is, it's all about access. I'll suffer through the nauseating hypocrisy as long as I have to. Okay, so... How do we get the Blue Suns on our side? Their leader, Darner Vosk, is a twisted little criminal. So where is I that I expected place? his demands to be unreasonable, but it turns out he's the biggest pushover of them all. Talk to him. I'll let you be the judge. Call me if you need to. Okay. How am I supposed to talk Bailey into letting Jonas Sedaris out of prison? I've already leaned on the council. Bailey is in direct defiance of their order. So talk to him. One boy scout to another, chain of command and all that crap. Take him to dinner, talk dirty to him, whatever works. She... The... Okay, so the writing on this has gotten even more sophomoric than it than it was in, in, in two. Alright, you know what? I, I just I, I don't care. We'll talk late. I'm sure. Yeah, I I really don't care about getting those guys at all. So Yeah, let's just go. I have a feeling I won't be doing like almost the hundred percent like I well I did think I I do believe I did the hundred percent for both of the previous games. I'm not so sure about this game. Like a lot of walking around. So Alright. Let's see what the Normandy looks like. Oh, they're gonna... So we cut scene right to the planet, okay. No. Oh, don't tell me this is like some kind... Oh, God. They really thought this was clever? 
What a tired... What a tired trope this is. Alright. So, the little boy is an analogy for... Everyone you've lost and your innocence. Okay. Really? Okay, so busy work. So I just have to go through this. Maybe in post edit, uh, maybe in, uh, I'll, I'll speed this up with the B Benny Hill theme. Isn't that deep, everybody? That's so deep. No, it's not. It's not deep at all. Okay. Liara, can I help you? I've been forwarding the Turian Counselor information on the Prothean device. It can't be built without Council support, but he's not budging until their Primarch is safe. Yeah, so I know. Turians, so we have to Are you all right? Turians. I didn't get what you'd call a good night's rest. There's more to it than that, isn't there? What's really bothering you? When the Reapers hit, I could hear people screaming in the streets below me. We left a lot of them behind. There's no way for you to save them all. But I know you're doing everything you can, and you'll get back there in time to help. I hope you're right. Don't blame yourself, Commander. Commander Shepard? I'm Specialist... Oh. Uh, I, I beg your pardon. I thought you were alone. I was just leaving. Uh, kind of a weird Commander outfit Shepherd, for her to have. I'm but... Com Specialist Samantha Trainer with Alliance R&D. I was part of the team retrofitting the Normandy after you turned it over to the Alliance. There weren't many of us aboard when the Reapers hit. I need the Normandy functional. What exactly have you done to my ship? We upgraded communications and removed most of the Cerberus tech, Commander. Most? Why Meaning? not all? The ship's in line with Alliance regs now, and it has new, top-of-the-line quantum entanglement communicators. In fact... Admiral Anderson had intended to use the Normandy as his mobile command center. That's no longer an option. Yes, I heard he chose to stay and fight. I in any event, I'm honored to serve under you, Commander. For as long as you need me, that is. They only sent me here to oversee the retrofits. Shepard, some of our systems require further testing, and Specialist Trainer has been extremely effective during installation. I would prefer that she remain. Got it, Edie. Wait, since when does a virtual intelligence make requests? Edie's an AI. Fully self-aware. Oh, I knew it. I knew Joker was lying. Of course, Jeff requested Joker that I pretend to be a simple VI to protect myself. I apologize for the deception. Thanks, Edie. And I apologize for all those times I talked about how... Mm, attractive your voice was. Oh, for... Okay. Anyway, shall I all give right. you a tour? I think you'll be impressed by the new upgrades. <sighs> In the All CIC, right. you'll find the galaxy map where you can set the Normandy's destination. If you didn't realize it, everybody, she's gay. She's gay. The War Room houses a strategic oh. command center for mission-specific intel and war analysis. The shuttle bay contains an armory where you can modify your equipment between missions. Finally, Liara has set up a lot of hardware down in the old XO office on Deck 3. I think she's claimed that room. 
And there you are. Still the same ship as before, it just flies Alliance colors now. Speaking of which, I believe Admiral Hackett would like to speak to you at the VidCom. Uh, another cutscene. Yay! Okay. I'm just wondering when I can play the game. Commander. Udina updated me on your okay. meeting with nope. the Council. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sounds like they're running scared. We did present them with a lot of unknowns. They're feeling threatened and want immediate solutions, not theories. Theories are all we've got right now. What's your plan? I'm trying to get the Turian Primarch for a summit meeting with the Asari and Salarians. I'll bypass the Council and appeal directly to their leadership. That's good. I like it. This is where we start laying the groundwork for our counterattack. Unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot to back it up right now. Then build alliances. Gather everything and everybody you can for the cause. What about the Prothean device? Find me people who can help build it, and if you can't, I'll take ships, soldiers, supplies, whatever you can get. We need to keep hitting the Reapers across every theater of war they open. Buy us time to figure out the device. And when it's finished? Assuming it ever is, we pool all our resources. Think of it as a giant armada for delivering the device, when the Reapers are most vulnerable. The stronger you can make that armada, the better the chances of punching through. What about Earth, sir? We'll just have to hope Anderson and what's left of the Alliance forces can hold out until we've dealt with the enemy. I understand. I... Good. Uh, okay. Then make um, it happen, Commander. Okay. I'll be expecting regular updates so of your progress. So, we're gonna Back be... It, out. These Reapers were, were made such a threat in the first game. And sort of in the second game, right? Okay. So, and then they attack Earth. And now we're just saying, oh no, they'll they'll fight them off for three months. Well, you know, we, I mean, we're going from galaxy to galaxy, so this isn't like we're doing two days, right? And um, and then you can see where Trainer went in there, and you know, that's it's very telling when they put like this this unnecessary dialogue that seems awkward doesn't fit into the context of the discussion that's just that's virtual signaling that here we this is what we want to be known it's just I, that's and they and and what happens is game developers make more of an effort in order to write that stuff in than they do with plot uh, contrivances and uh, plot devices and uh, that's why a lot of AAA games kind of stink and I think that's why this one got probably got a lot of backlash I know the ending I know they said the ending was horrible in this one left a lot of people you know not very happy wait a minute so wait hold on oh so this okay this is now the, the war terminal all right, so and end now. So this game is me going, basically playing, playing uh, like a diplomat. Okay, so what do I have? Oh, uh, so I just select that. can't select any of these. So I can't select them. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. All right. Makes sense. Uh, not really, but so yeah, I'm basically being a gopher. And then the big thing is the protein device. Um, all right. Got a maintenance shaft. Well, I might as well go down the maintenance shaft, huh? Oh, good. Not a big load screen. I appreciate that. This was probably... this. What? Where is this? This is where uh, Zaid was, I think. 
Silas Crosby. Are these the people that we found last game at the last crash site? I think so. Please tell me it wasn't any... Uh, please tell me none... Well, Presley. I know Presley. Please tell me there was none of the, the, the guy that was with his daughter. But then again, uh, the guy that... Life support. The guy that was with his daughter... Oh, no, it's life support. This is where the... Whatever the robot was called. Crew quarters. All right. Oh. Oh. Good. He, wait. Why are you still here? You have a daughter. Don't do this. Don't do this. You don't have to pee here again. You did enough last time. Go. All right. So, technically... All right. Technically, it is right. Okay. Close that. I'm not air conditioning the whole galaxy. Revelations novel? Oh, well. Oh, boy. Well, this is coming out. Uh, yeah, we're about to probably hitting World War III. Uh, uh, Drew Karpshian, the man who wrote all of Mass Effect 1, which I believe is one of the best games of all time. And then wrote the plot line of Mass Effect 2 and left when they just basically said no we're gonna make this for a modern audience and then probably wrote in Jack but uh... <coughs> alright well no that isn't revelations like uh, you know from the American side alright Men's washroom, okay. Everything looks oh everyone close that. Oh wow, this is cool. I've I, I built a table like this way back when. A poker a nice poker table when I had my ranch in uh, in Texas. It was very nice. And what is this? Like a massage chair? I never I don't think I ever questioned that. I can't drink anymore. That's a bummer. Um, oh, that's life support. That's where I could go back up. That's the elevator. This was Miranda's office. Oh, and now it's... Oh, now it's the R's. That's right, the XO. That's Miranda was the XO, that's right. Commander Shepard, it's a pleasure to see you again. You're the drone from the Shadow Brokers ship. Dr. Tassoni now refers to me as Glyph instead of Info Drone 95% of the time. If you have a moment, I'd like to draw your attention to a terminal in her office. It analyzes information packages. If you find any useful data, I can research upgrades for you. And what should I be looking for? I'll inform you if you found relevant data. When you do, return to this terminal for your choices. In the meantime, Dr. Tassoni would like to speak with you. Have a pleasant day. Okay. Meeting with the counselor. Oh, looks like you brought more than just that drone from your ship. It's like I cut a cutscene. A few things were necessary. With a cutscene. I'd be a very silent shadow broker with data. You tried to do a cutscene, but you cut the so cutscene with cutscene. Resources. What I can get. We'll need it to research this Prothean device. Until we understand precisely what it does, it's far too dangerous to use. Well, no, the Protheans didn't finish it. Why would they? What a stupid question. I'm just gonna... It'd be it. nice to know we're not kids playing around with a loaded gun. Absolutely. The damage it could cause if it backfired is unthinkable. People were finally starting to listen before the Reapers came. If we'd had a little more time, maybe Earth wouldn't. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to talk about it. Okay. Did she revert back to, like, 
uh, just reading lines because in the second game, although she wasn't there, she had a lot more acting chops, if that's the word. All right, well, maybe it was just a bad line read. There's still a lot of people alive down there. I have to remember that. You will. It's the war we warned everyone about for years. And if I know you, Shepard, you'll make them proud. Yeah, I think it's a bad line read on that first one. Which shows it's more against the uh, it's more against the uh, director and game designers. Of which uh, I did look them up and wow. What a mishmash of... Uh, this terminal contains non-essential correspondence from your allied forces. Morons. Dr. Tassoni has granted you access. Prothean dig, sighting, okay, theorem, comprehension, subconscious, war, shadow brokers, Prothean's husk, yeah, yeah, we, are, we knew that. All right. No. As a Farron. Okay, so uh, hopefully her and Farron have a nice little relationship going. Shadow and broker out loud in the same. Oh, yeah. Good, good, uh, good reminder, Farron. Uh, Eva Core. Okay. Hacked audio. All right. Wait, was that it? Wait. Hello again, Shepard. Oh, uh, there we go. You brought your little helper with you? Its name is Glyph. It helped sort through all the data that led me to the archive on Mars. It was a pleasure to be of assistance, Doctor. Glyph's interfaced with the data feeds. Its analytical software should come in handy. And what is this with, uh, and it, games starting around here until the modern day? What is it with the like little marketable, uh, cute little sidekicks, I say? I mean, you have the droid with the Jedi games, those Jedi games. You, you always have like that little marketable kind of thing. I don't know. Just something I noticed. Just pattern pattern recognition is kind of my thing. I'm not saying it's a good or a bad thing. It's just very odd. I don't know why. It's just... Is it, it, is it based on the people who are writing games now? What's been happening with you as the broker? Like it's they their are. teddy bear? It's been exciting. Blanky. The old broker's ship? Impressive, but it was never meant to be space-worthy. Which meant the elusive man eventually tracked me down on Hagalaz. What happened? I knew he was coming. Ferron and I loaded as much of the ship's specialized hardware onto a shuttle as we could. We got away from Cerberus' ships after arranging an appropriate distraction. Oh. What kind of distraction? Sending the broker's ship exploding into a Cerberus cruiser. I don't think the elusive man expected me to give up my resources in such a spectacular fashion. Yeah, neither did I, because it really doesn't make any a lick of sense, but... Can you still operate as the broker without the ship? Well, I couldn't let the elusive man have it. I saved what was crucial. My network of agents is intact, although the Reapers have taken a toll on their numbers. It's taking a while to re-establish contact. So where is Farron if you two escaped? He convinced me he was recovered enough to work, and I do need more agents. Agent Farron didn't report any injuries during his last call to you, Doctor. True. Given what he survived, I should probably worry less. Yeah, he's a tough guy. He's, he's tough. What have you been up to since we last saw each other? Since you helped me defeat the Shadow Broker, I started looking for defenses against the Reapers. The Protheans were the only ones with substantial information on them. The older civilizations barely had records. I knew the elusive man was hunting for the same thing when our agents began crossing paths. Like on Mars? I thought I'd covered my tracks, but he had surveillance there all along. Hmm. Okay. We'll talk later, Liara. Of course. So... I'm looking at this outfit. I see what they were trying to do. And and in the mod itself, you can you could kind of choose what they wear on in what kind of 
timeline in the game. Uh, I think maybe I picked the wrong one for her. Let's see if I could... Oh, hold on. Let's, let's see. Uh, characters? Okay. Alright, so Liera. Alright, postmarks. Uh. Wait a minute. That one. It looks like none of them saved, man. Oh, okay, no, they did. All right. Four. I try to. I try to give her things. All right, here we go. Uh oh, I forgot which one. Oh, that's sweet. Oh, I just kind of went into... same thing. And, nope, Blippi, I can't talk to you. Armor mod kit. Okay. Not then. Okay. Please, enjoy your day. Alright, I think I shall. Our cook's not here anymore. And then we have, I don't know, uh, I think these are I always thought these were sleeping pods, but I think they're escape pods. Alright, where's A? Where's, where is Donley? Daniels and Donley. Where are my awesome engineers at? Uh, not happy. Not happy. I want them. I want them here. Alright. Alright. Yeah. A anyways, I've tried to get these out as quickly as I can. I also kind of want to play Fallout 2. Uh, the problem is, is now that I moved my parents into my house, uh, they are basically like toddlers. Um, what are you saying? Power bonuses? Uh, they are, yeah, they are essentially toddlers. They, they, um... Oh, do I have the squad? Oh, I got two points. Alright. Nope. Nope. No. Uh, no, I'm gonna undo that. I wanna keep it. Um. Okay, so I can only do this. And of course I was an infiltrator, but I don't think I can change that. I kind of screwed that up. I screwed the pooch, man. I screwed the pooch. Oh. Oh, that's that thing. Anyways, yeah, so, like I said, it's... Uh, what, um... What I... Whoa, radioactive. Oh, this is where Jack used to hang out, and she's not here. Thank the Maker. Thank the Reapers. Maybe she got killed some. Oh, Engineer, there they are. And Adams, Adams is back. Uh, Adams? And 
again. I can't. Alright. Well, something is going on with this mod where... Alright. Well, we're going to leave it off there then. Because I'm going to have to save. Uh, shooting range. Yeah, I don't care. can't choose any of these. I can just close the store, so I think I need somebody in order to do this. Uh, yeah, we're going to do this because something is going on with this mod where I can't talk to anybody, but if I save, close the game, and reload it, then I can. Uh, but yeah, like I said, uh, my parents, they get, uh, they're, 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 up, <laughs> they're up until about 3 o'clock in the morning, so I don't even know where, you know, I try to sneak in gaming here, but if I try it, most of the time, I just hear banging and stuff and all that kind of good stuff. So, yeah, um, I've already had to clean up spills in the kitchen and all that. It's been, it's been, uh, it's been uh, a culture shock, as it were. So, yeah, so I, um, but I'll try to bang these out and try to uh, play as much as I can in a given period of time. But I only have a small window to actually play games now. Because uh, the day is work, um, and then in between work are doctor's appointments, uh, calling lawyers, calling this, and uh, oh yeah, plus uh, now that uh, yeah, I won't get into the, the, the rant about tyranny and dogma, um, but uh, with inflation, well, government agencies are really looking to try to steal more money from taxpayers so I, I actually have a couple of uh, uh, court dates when it comes to like my uh, business properties so that's taken a lot that's taken time too uh, but I really do want to play Fallout 2 again and I do want to finish this game as quickly as possible just so I can basically end just not basically just due to the fact that I want to end any type of relationship with uh, Origin, EA, whatever they want to be called now, um, in order to play this. I want to, and I want to get that game client off my system because it does a lot of telemetry that I have to stop on the backside. Anyway, so that's it for now. Thank you for joining me. Get off my interlock.